Yoga allows you to be in touch with the present moment. It allows you to be in touch with your feelings, your physiology, your anatomy, but also what's happening with the energy inside you, your consciousness, where it's moving, even if it moved to the past or the future, but as long as you're aware of where it's moving. The word spirituality can sometimes be misconstrued just to realize how we're all connected, connected with each other, connected with the earth. In a way, that can be a type of spirituality. And the way you start that is just by connecting with your mind and your body to make them as one. You can think of yoga as being a way of creating these artificially induced, semi-stressful situations in a controlled environment and learning how to be relaxed and to deal with the stress and so that way when you come to a real stressful situation in life then you approach that in a way which is more yogic, more mindful and more relaxed while under stress. A mother who's about to give birth, the communication between the mother and the child is enhanced with good yoga practice. It can help foster the right sort of feelings in that child and foster the bond between the mother and the child. You can think of yoga as being returning back to the natural state. Children practicing yoga, it keeps them more in their natural state as they get older, more connected to themselves, more connected to the people around them. Hopefully by getting more children practicing yoga now, the future will be a better place.